Listen, y'all already know what time it is, man. It's that boy Deli back out here with another video. As y'all can see by the title of all time. Day. Listen, bro. We are reacting to. We're not really reacting to shit today, y'all. We are looking at the Spotify classics the 100 greatest hip-hop songs of the streaming era we're here to see if i personally agree with this shit it's probably some shit on here that i haven't heard because it's most likely gonna be some shit from everybody like for example cardi b i don't really listen to cardi b so let's see where they rank her shit let's see where they rank travis scott shit let's see where they rank future shit let's see where they rank kendrick shit let's see where they rank drake shit let's hop straight into it we about to change the screens and i'm not editing this video at all y'all i am live streaming i am live streaming on kick and twitch right now man so let's go ahead make my screen a little bit bigger we can have myself like down here we'll see we'll see we might have to change some shit up all right start off slide down okay this an album this is an album right here? Hip-hop songs. Oh, no, no. Hip-hop hip songs. Okay, cool. All right. Coil Array Players. Let's pause this music right here. Let's pause it. And we're going to check out some of this shit because you, like, you can get, like, short snippets to it. Okay. Players, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. That song was going crazy for it for a minute. A smooth little minute. I'm not going to lie. Okay, 5 e 4 this big drip. She fell in love with the uh-uh, right? Axel. Axel. Yeah, this song was going crazy for the time it was. So far, 99 and 100, like the placement. Dolce, I don't really react to Dolce. What song is this? See if I heard it before. Dolce. Let's fast forward a little bit. Like a torch from the hood, I hopped. Put this shit at 100. Slide everything else up. Next. YG featuring Nipsey. R.I.P. Nipsey. F.D.T. What did it sound like again? Just when I thought it influential. All the niggas in the hood want to fight you. Okay, I remember this shit. Fuck Donald Trump. Oh, this fuck Donald Trump. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay. Okay, that's good placement. That's good placement. And this is this is the shit of all the streaming, like streaming era of all time for real. So, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ski, no cap. That's good placement. That's good placement so far. Freddie Gibbs, crime pays. I haven't heard this song before, so I'll just keep it where it is. Time today. And uh, Risa, I looked at my wrist. I got time today. Yeah, that shit hard. What happened to Virgil? Ugh, this this shit kind of far back, ain't it? Hold on, let me move my screen out the way. I'm just now noticing I'm all up in the way for y'all. Hold on. What happened to Virgil? This shit is kind of low. This is this song kind of low. What we thinking? What we thinking? Yeah, this is the top 100 of all time. So the beat could have been slightly higher. Okay. It don't, it don't even matter at this point because we're listening to some of these songs. We're not going to play the whole song for what it is because I'm trying to get paid this video. Stupid ad. Okay, let's copy this so I can have the chat on the screen while I'm doing this shit. Let's paste it. And we can put the chat right here. <clears throat> What'd you say about Coy Lorraine? Coy Lorraine made the list. That song was fun. You gotta catch another flight. And uh, make one of Oh, shit. Never Lose Me? Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. We putting Never Lose Me over what happened to Virgil? What? What is this? What is this shit ranked on? Like, I feel like this song should be a little bit higher. But this shit is of all time. Ultimate. Listen. Who remember that shit? ultimate ultimate literally this was the y'all remember when people was doing a bottle flipping and shit man 2015 what a fucking time 2015 2016 what a time man what was this again 
Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've never really, really been a huge fan of ASAP Rocky. This song was cool. This song was cool. I mean, what happened to Virgil, I feel like could be higher. Yo, Gotti. Down in the DM. It got down in the DM. We don't really got to hear that shit. That shit fire as hell. Damn, that was 2016 as well? Fuck. Doja Cat featuring Rico Nasty, Rico Nasty Tia Tamira. Okay, I feel it. We can play the Hold on, we can just start this back up. Let me know if it's good. Let me know if the beat good. It should be straight now. I feel like it's too high. It might be too high. It might be too high. Let's just put it back where it was. Okay. Tia Tamira. It was a fa song. I mean. Mm, eh. Check by Young Thug. Yeah. Yeah. Check. I got a check. Sheesh. Yeah. I got me a check. I got a check. Yeah. This shit was hard to sell. I fuck with check. Chung Lee. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, let me let me use my brain right here. Check should be higher. Chung Lee is good where it's at. Mac Miller, I never really listened to Mac Miller, but most likely I've heard this song before. Well, climbing over that wall. It's cool. It's cool. Don't know about the placement though, but y'all can let me know down below in the comments. My type. Oh shit! Eight eh, 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 figure. That's my type. That's my type. Eh, that's my type. Yeah. He can rap, but the song LSD is good. Facts, 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 facts. Self care. Okay, okay. You fuck with it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I feel like I gotta move this shit somewhere else. Where do I move my camera in this situation? Like I said, y'all, I'm not editing this video, man. Y'all just, just skip ahead. Skip ahead, please. Goddamn. We trying to get this shit right. Trying to get this right, man. Okay. You just put the chat right over my head. All right. Outside today. Da -da -da -da. And away. Okay, cool. Big old freak. Okay. I remember that shit, too. Ice Spice, Nicki Minaj, Princess Diana over Big Old Freak. Y'all petty for that. Y'all petty for that. Y'all definitely petty for that. Um, I feel like <sighs> Big Old Freak had a bigger impact because that's like, isn't this the song that blew up Megan Thee Stallion? I think it was. I think it was. I ain't gonna lie. Uber Everywhere. Oh my god, I haven't heard this song in forever, bro. It, okay, if Uber Everywhere is on the list, I just thought of something. If Uber Everywhere is on this list, it's one song that needs to be on this list. Got the club going up on a Tuesday. Bro, if that song isn't on this list, bro, it's going to be a fucking problem. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Yep. Shooter featuring... Lil Uzi Vert by Playboy Cardi on a Dot Lit album. Okay. All uh, my life. That's cool. Tyler, the creator, NBA young boy. What's the name? I remember this shit. <laughs> Didn't I react to this album and it got blocked? What's the name was Fi? But I put this over... 2016, 2016 was like a nostalgia year though, bruh. It was a very nostalgia year, so mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. For me, I wouldn't put this up too high. Last time that I checked, it's on fire. I'll keep this right here. Money longer. Yes. Yes. Keep it where it's at for right now. Know yourself by Dre. You know how it goes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, over money longer. Yeah, I can say that. I can say that for sure. What we thinking? What we thinking so far with this list? Doja Cat, I'm trying to indulge in that. Over Drake? What is this list made off of again? Let's 
Let's read this shit, because I really wasn't paying attention. In February, we launched Spotify Classics, our first ever program to set up, celebrate catalog music. Okay. Featuring releases like, damn. So, this one had albums in it. So, they did this shit earlier this year where they did albums. So, now they're doing the greatest songs of the streaming era. Hip-hop has been the most influential genre of pop culture for decades. It has become the number one music genre in the U.S. in 2017, according to whoever this is. Hip-hop's commercial ascendance. Okay. But how was this list made? All songs were released on Spotify after 2015. Spotify streams current as May 20th of 2024. Okay. Okay. I don't know about the Princess Diana. The same. I feel the same about that. Let me see. Where was we at? We was right here. Put Doja back. Slide Lil Uzi and Know Yourself Up. Uh, That's a good spot. That's a good spot. Still keep... Put these two songs ahead of Doja still. Um, put it on the floor. What was this again? Uh, rip me out the plastic. I've been acting brand new. That's the song. Eh. Uh, placement, placement, man. It, it's kind of hard. I hope they had a lot of people in the room making this list, bro. Get it back in blood. Yes, this was a very influential song everybody was talking about they gotta get it back in blood they didn't even know what the meaning of this shit they just talking about they're gonna get it back in blood and they don't even know what the fuck it mean they didn't even know what that meant and they saying it free proof shiesty man well if he did it don't free his ass i ain't gonna lie to you <laughs> let me chill yo ma ooh, 2016 2017 man listen it, uh, influential year for you for music man Keep that where it's at. Keep that where it's at. Young Thug gonna hot this shit. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Keep that where it's at. What's popping? Slide. What's popping back? Put hot at 67. Let me see. What song is this? Is it gonna play? It's not gonna play. Is my shit just tripping? Let me see. No, that played. Some of these songs ain't playing. Let me see. Maybe if I refresh. Let's try refreshing, y'all. Doing all this shit live. We not editing this video at all. Like I said, man, we're just going through this list. Oh, yeah. Keep drowning right there. So, slot hot to 67. Drowning can stay at 66. Pop it out your party. I'm with the game, and it's gonna be a robbery. So tuck your chain, I'm a killer, but I'm sorry. This shit hard to sell, man. I love Polo G music. Y'all can let me know what y'all think about Polo G down below in the comments. Lotto too high on the list. Okay. Okay, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. Pop out, that's cool where it's at. So far, I'll just move hot to 67, keep everything else the same. T-shirt. R.I.P. Tech, man. T-shirt, influential. Like I said, the year of 2017 was an influential, influential year of music. Fuck out some comments. I ain't heard this song in a minute, bro. This was a different time for me. This was a different time, bro. What the hell is this beat? I don't even know if y'all can hear that shit, but we got to get off that. That's cool where it's at. Plain Jane. What, what, what song was this again? Hold on. I'm not trying to get copyrighted. Plain Jane. <laughs> okay. Uh, for me, Plain Jane, you can slide this back to 63. Slide Future up to 62. Drip too hard. I feel like it's a little bit low. <laughs> I feel like Drip too hard is a little bit low. This song was an influential song as well for me. Um on my we doing we trying to edit this shit to my personal list you see what i'm saying some of this shit i'll keep the same some of this shit i'll slide up so 
drip too hard. I feel like I over yeah, over this shit. Slide it up. Slide this shit up. Slide it to 60. Oh shit. King's Dead was fire as fuck. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. So yeah, just put this song, put Drip Too Hard at 60, slide this back to 61. Keep this how it is. Tyler the Creator featuring Kali Uchis. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. You live in my tr oh man. I never listened to this you album. Maybe I'll react to it one day. Maybe I'll react to it. Um, for me, since I haven't really heard the song for real, I mm, I'll probably put this at 59. 59 and then slide King's Dead up to 58. Look alive. Bro, who remember Block Boy JB? You remember Block Boy JB? Not many people probably remember this nigga. Not many people. Not many people probably remember this nigga, bro. The whole look alive shit. He he Drake put this nigga Block Boy JB on, and after that he fell off. And after that he fell off. That's tough. Uh hmm. Jack Boys out west. Yes, keep that where it's at. First day out. I, I love me some T Grizzly, man. I love me some T Grizzly. I uh <laughs> Ten bad bitches. Oh yeah. Yeah. It'll be hard to move T Grizzly song up when you got X right here. Butterfly effect. Yeah, all of this shit staying the same so far. I say so too. Man, if you don't get this song up out of here, put this shit all the way back to fucking. Put this at. Where we putting? Where we putting that song at? It was a five song for the time being, but I never listened to that nigga. Slide his ass all the way back. He he can go all the way back here somewhere. Hell no. That song is up way too high. Way too high. Lil Mosey, Blueberry Fago being better than Butterfly Effect, X, uh, First Day Out, Out West. Really? Really? Uh, like, really? Are we really doing that right now? This song is up way too high. It need to be back in the 90s. It need to be back in the 90s. Lemonade, I remember when that shit dropped. I think I react to it. We got to refresh again, bro. We got to refresh again, man. Let's see. Lemonade was a W song. A billion streams? Holy shit. Just want to rock. Influential. I feel like with, with Just Want to Rock, the song got played out to a certain point. It got to a point where this shit was just getting played too much. But when it dropped though even before it dropped when it was just a snippet this shit was hard as hell i'll keep it at 50 i'll keep it at 50. that's cool suge this this the baby in his prime uh for me uh, mm, you can slide this back to the 60s it, it has to be it has to be in the 60s after all all of this shit, bro. I said slide this to 60. You can put it after this. You can put it like down here. Shug for me, it was five, but eh. Oh, yeah. You got to put this higher. You got to put superhero higher. This is the this is the song right here that everybody use in their edits, bro. They use superhero in their edits like crazy. When this song dropped... All the YouTube shorts, all the TikToks, Instagram shorts, they was using that goddamn superhero. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Now, what is this? Uh, F-R-E-E, nigga -E, free. Okay. That's cool, but I'll, I'll probably put it at 48. I'll probably put it at 48. Fuck you, me. Leave it. Wait for you. Leave it. Paint the town red. Uh, I'll put wait for you at 44. I'll put wait for you at 44. And then slide this at 45. Uh, slide it. Yeah, slide it to 45. Fuck you, man. It was cool, but. Mm. 
Jumpman, Jumpman, Jumpman must be up to something. Who remember this shit? I forgot that Future was on this shit. I ain't heard this song in I don't know how long. And it was produced by Metro Boom and Make It Boom, bruh. I didn't even know that. And it was with Cash Money Records? Huh. Huh. What the nigga Kendra said? You was signed by a nigga that was signed by a nigga that was signed by a nigga. Okay. Jumpman, that's, that was a five song when it came out. Made me want to buy a pair of Jordans or some shit. <laughs> Hell no, nah, bro. All right, let's find a different beat. Next one. Let's see. Act up. Which one is this? Real ass. Give up. Bada. The... That's crazy how I know some of it, like majority of these songs though. Um, you can keep it. You can keep it. All the females love this song when it drop. Antidote. Don't you open all that window? This song had me in a chokehold at one point. R.I.P. My boy X. Look at me at number forty. I'm not moving it at all. Keep it right there. Chance the rapper, Lil Wayne, and Two Chains. No problem. You don't want zero problems, big fella. What is this? I remember hearing that, but I hated this song. I hated this song. I better not. I better not see no for real song on this bitch. I don't. Happy, happy. I was thinking about happy. Happy wasn't even a hip hop song, so it don't even matter. It shouldn't be on this list. But you can slide this back. I hated this song with a passion. Slide that all the way back, sixty somewhere. Freestyle. It needs to be top ten. This needs to be top ten. This is the anthem. The Shout out my label, that's me. I'm in need be with TB. I'm in need be with Fox Ray. I just pulled out me. Uh, not trying to get copyrighted, man. Okay, what song is this? She see money all around me. I look like on the man. Ooh, uh, ah. I still put freestyle above this song. This can go to 38. Brain freestyle to 37. Kodak Black X Rolling Peace. Love this song to death. W song overall. I'll keep that where it's at. Family ties. Keep it where it's at. Ballin'. What was this again? Hold on. Let's find where the beat drop. Mm, for me, you can put it... You can fit it in in the middle between that. Between, uh, before I said freestyle would be my 37. So it can be... It can be after freestyle, so somewhere 38 and back for me. Ric Flair drip, keep it. Middle child. Uh, anyway, running them out. I'm running my buzz. I'm loading my clips. I'm earning no names. I'm making them lists. I'm checking them twice and I'm getting them hit. Rose been dying. The famous is lit. Mmm. Mmm. Damn. I would say higher. I would say with this one it needs to be higher, but I don't I don't really know. Gold link really fell off. Hmm. I don't know with this one. I feel like it need to be higher. Same thing with freestyle. I would probably put this top 25, maybe. Let's see what they got though. Ultra beam. Oh shit. Ultra light beam. And it's not playing again. I don't know why the hell Spotify is doing this. Maybe it's doing that because I'm not signed in or some shit. You shouldn't have to sign in for this shit. Let's remember we are at 30. And all of I'm seeing back to back as well. Alright, let's see. What this one sound like again? Still not playing. Uh I don't wanna go to Spotify and try playing these hoes. I can. We know what? Let me see. We on a ultra light. Uh, Deliver us peace. I think I need to react to this album. I haven't really heard this full album because back when this album released, what year was it? What year was this? When did The Life of Pablo drop? Hold on. Spotify. 
Kanye. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. Kanye West. Life of Pablo. 2016. I figured. Yeah, back in 2016, I didn't have Spotify or Apple Music. So I never listened to that album, bro. I didn't. I wasn't able to listen to it because at the time it wasn't out on SoundCloud. So I didn't listen to it. So that'll probably be an album I could go back and check out and probably make a reaction to it, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all with that one. Let's see. Back to back. That's good where it's at. That's cool. DNA. I got loyalty. Damn. A billion views. I mean, a, a billion plays. Nine times platinum? I didn't even know this shit had fun facts to it, bro. Hold on. I'm fucking with this shit. I haven't really been paying attention. Okay, cool. So this shit got fun facts to it. So this song is about to be diamond pretty soon. That is crazy. That is a fact I did not know. You learn something new every day. Rockstar, W song. Rockstar is the most streamed rap song in Spotify history. It was the longest charting number one rap song in 2018 and outside of the United States. The Grammy awarded winning song earned the top chart position in 10 other countries, including Canada, Australia, Portugal, and Ireland. Now, that's another thing I didn't know. That this man, 21 Savage, won a Grammy. Wow. Wow. Learn something new every day. Black Beatles. Who remember this? Mannequin Challenge. Post Malone doing country now? Has he dropped anything as a recent? Has he dropped a country song? Who knows? I might end up reacting to that shit. I saw something on Twitter about it. Oh, he made a song with Morgan Wallen. Shit, I might just react to it. Who knows? Shit. Mm -hmm. I might just see what that shit talking about. Chris, appreciate the follow. Anybody else on Twitch? No. Okay. Back to it. Black Beatles, Mannequin Challenge. Listen, I remember doing a... Bro, you know it's lit. You know a song is fire when your school... And your teacher wanted you to do the mannequin challenge. Everybody in the school did a mannequin challenge and posted it to Instagram and shit. No matter if you was in school, outside of school, doing whatever. Niggas did a mannequin challenge, bro, to this shit, bro. No cap. Play the beat. Okay. Earthquake. Leave it where it's at. Rap star? Kinda high? And like I said, I love Polo G, but this shit is high as fuck for some reason. This is too high. This song is too high. You telling me this song is better than DNA, better than... It, it really all depends, bruh. I'll probably swap this song. If I could trade a song, put Rap Star where Freestyle is. Because if you're going to put a lot up here, you have to have freestyle up here. It just makes sense. Going bad. Okay. Since they got that, since they got this song on here, they got to have fucking... Hold on, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished? Wasn't that on this album on championships? Let's make sure. Let's make sure, y'all. Hold on. We doing research while we're doing this shit. Dreams and Nightmares? Oh, no, that dropped in 2012. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. I thought that shit dropped in 2015. Damn, that shit been around for some for a minute then. She my trap queen, but I hit the pin, though. You can't end up watching all the bins, though. A lot too high on the list. Yeah, you can say that. You can say that for sure. Trap queen, leave it where it's at. Influential ass song. If you're going to put Trap King, trap Queen right here, you got to put uh, uh, Ray Shrimmer shit within the same, like, orientation. Slide this shit up, put that shit around this mark because this shit dropped in, what, 2015, 2016? Let's pin over a beat that was found. SoundClick.com. Who remembers SoundClick? SoundClick. 
hoes in this house. It's some hoes in this house. It's some hoes in this house. Certified free, seven days a week. Hey, listen. Uh, at the time, I feel like this song was just weird for me. Just hearing my mom listening to this shit. I'm, I'm just saying. This this WAP shit was weird for me just having just hearing my mom listen to WAP. Like you're my mother. Why are you listening to this shit around me? Like it, it traumatized. Traumatized. And that was just 2020. I was 17. Traumatized. Yeah. I, I, this song is too high. Too high. I'm traumatized by this shit. Get that out of my face. French Montana. Unforgettable. Yeah, you telling me this song is better than freestyle? Stop it. Stop it. Probably for the time. I didn't even listen to this shit, bro. I'm just keeping it a buck with y'all. Probably for the time, but freestyle is better. Put little baby shit right here then. Since we wanna do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We paid. Yeah, 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 yeah. We paid. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Before I go broke like jock. Fuck with that dog like Vic. What? This shit was hard to sell. Tyler, the creator, once tweeted that we paid is the core of rap music. Uh, though he couldn't further. Okay. The song is 42 Dud's first and only top 10 hit in the Billboard Hot 100. Never knew that. No flocking. Yes. Top 17. Top 20 right now. This song right here, bro, influential as well. Influential as well, man. OG Kodak. OG Kodak. The single also inspired Bodak Yellow, which would, which turned into a sentimental influence for female rappers. I remember Bodak Yellow. So, shit. If, if that's the case, if this is the case right here, I guess they're going to have Bodak Yellow down here. Bodak Yellow has to be all the way down here. It has to be top 10, huh? Y'all, y'all, I, I know y'all didn't put Cardi B Bodak Yellow top 10. Ain't no way. Ain't no way they did that. It's crazy that Cardi B has never gone on tour. That's true. She's never been on tour. She's never been on tour. Wow. Never even knew that. Not going to lie to you. Humble, two billion streams, y'all. Holy shit. Kendrick be doing numbers. Kendrick be doing numbers, man. Keep humble where it's at. Uh, No flocking. Okay, cool. Father stretch my hands. Yes. The box. Eat her. Eat her. Eat her. Eat her. Uh... How we feel about the box? Do you think this is a good spot for the box? Or you think it's too high? It's so many good songs that's on this list. I feel like it's too high. I feel like the box is too high. The iconic squeak for the box, which Roddy Rich vocally created himself, was added after it was finished. I knew this. It would help make the box a viral smash, topping Billboard's hot 100 for 10 consecutive weeks to become one of the most bona fide TikTok hits. Crazy. Crazy. But yeah, how we feeling about the box? Is you think this is a good placement? Y'all can let me know down below in the comments as well, bro. Y'all can comment as we go through this shit. Do y'all think this is a good placement for the box or do y'all think it's too high? Me personally, I feel like it's so many you you can't put freestyle in the back. I feel like freestyle holds enough value more than well, I feel like it holds more value than the box as a song. I get those goosebumps every time. Mm. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Mask off. Leave it where it's at. Jocelyn Flores by X. Man, bro. 
fuck, man. Bro, I was a huge, huge fan of X, bro. That's that's why I, my hair used to be black and blonde. You saw the shit earlier in the stream. My hair used to be black and blonde, and it was because of X. X is my favorite artist of all time. R.I.P. X, man. R.I.P. Ja. Um, number 11, I feel like that's a good fit. I feel like that's a good fit. Uh, let's see. It's multi. This multi platinum selling track is from X debut album Seventeen. I'll never forget where I was at when Seventeen dropped. With over two billion streams, it's, it's among the most streamed rap songs. This isn't really a rap song for real. One of the most streamed rap songs in Spotify history. Upon its release, it entered Billboard's Hot 100. Charting at number 31. Following X Death, the track re entered the chart, peaking at number 19. Man. Man. Lucid Dreams. I still see your shadows in my room. I never understood the appeal, but my younger brothers, who's, who's 19, love, bruh, I love that nigga X, bro. Still to this day. It's just hard for me to listen to his shit nowadays, bruh, because, like, that nigga inspired me so much, bruh. He inspired me so much with when I used to make music, my musical craft. Um, Just just him overall, man. He, he taught me to just be myself, bruh. That's one thing I can't say. I'll never forget where I was when Lucid... Lucid cool lemonade the music video that was the first ever time i heard of juice world i was on the way home in the car i had my headphones in i'm on youtube and i see this song and i recommend it i listened to it and ever since then bro i was a fan of juice world it's 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 certain songs where i can remember where i was when i first heard of it and these two right here jocelyn flores and Lucid Dreams, I can vividly remember that. Christian Dior, Dior. R.I.P. Pop Smoke, man. R.I.P. Pop Smoke. I, one of my, my favorite Pop Smoke song, what's that shit? It was the remix to uh 50 Cent shit. Many Men. Many Men. What, what, what was the name of that song? Uh, uh, Many Men. Many, 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 many men wish that upon me. No, I don't cry no more. Mm -mm -mm. You know, I can't hum it too much either because YouTube be on that bullshit. They'll copyright me just for humming a song. So, yeah, that was my favorite uh, Pop Smoke song. I'm not sure what the name of it was, but I think it was called Many Men for 50 Cent. Um, What that comment say? I didn't peep. Love Lucid Dreams. It sucked the way he passed. X2, so horrible. Facts. R.I.P. Pop. R.I.P. X. And R.I.P. Juice, man. Brother to the Pop Smoke. Death Heart 2. Man, I took that shit hard as fuck because the nigga was growing on me, bro. Like, I was becoming a huge Pop Smoke fan. And like I said, I don't even like New York Drill. But it was just something about, something about Pop Smoke that reminded me of 50 Cent. You see what I'm saying? And it, it, it's just his his aura, the way that he, he like, the way that he moved. It was just, you know, it was just influential, bro. I just, I loved Pop Smoke at that time, bro. I loved Pop Smoke at that time. No fucking cap, man. I'll leave this where it's at. These three can stay. These three can stay. I'm, it's no, no hard feelings for any of these songs. Mo Bamba. Guarantee you, you can play this shit at any event. You can play Mo Bamba at any event. Guarantee you, somebody know who it is. I mean, everybody know what song this is. Everybody going to know it. Everybody going to sing it. I got hoes calling a young nigga phone. You see what I'm saying? Like, everybody know that shit, bro. Everybody. Everybody. Sicko mode. What this sound like again? Oh, this is the one that got the beat switch. I think I reacted to this. 
My brother still gets the pot smoke braids. Damn. That's lit as hell. <laughs> That's lit as fuck. Let's see what uh facts they got for these songs. I didn't even peep. Sting, whose shape of my heart is sampled. Um, and Lucid Dreams has said Juice World song is his favorite reworking. I thought Sting sued him or some shit. Somebody sued him for one of his samples that he used. Dior Dior appears on Pops Meet the Woo and Meet the Woo 2 mixtape. It, it was on two mixtapes at once? Wait. Dior. Dior bonus. Damn, I never knew that. I never figured. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. Shaq West. The song is titled after Shaq's childhood friend, Mo Bamba, man. Now six-year NBA pro who has played for the Orlando Magic, LA Lakers, and 76ers. Sicko Mo. Drake isn't listed as a featured artist, which means he wasn't credited when the song reached number one on the Billboard's Hot 100. Damn, so y'all don't credit somebody just because they wasn't named as a feature uh sicko mode a sicko mode credit would give drake a uh, number 14 number one on the hot 100s one more than michael jackson so with that being said right you telling me that drake does he need one more number one to have one more than michael jackson is that what i'm hearing I would have thought he would have passed that shit already, right? Huh. Interesting. Bad and bougie. Leave it where it's at. It should be top five, for Christ's sake. Bad and bougie should be top five. And I would think this should have a billion streams by now. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do you got to say about bad and bougie? Bad and Bougie was the first number one for the for both of 300 Entertainment and QC. Damn, for real? Damn. Okay, that's lit as hell. That's lit. That's lit. Thought he did pass it. That's what I'm saying. I thought he did pass it too. Let's see. How many... We're going to have to look this up. How many number ones... How many number ones does Drake have? He's tied. He's tied. He's still got 13. Damn. So you're telling me, bro. You're telling me. All this man Drake needs is one more hit. One more to say he's better than Michael Jackson. This is like, for example, let's put this in sports terms. This is like LeBron James getting that seventh ring. Even though he really don't need it. But this is like LeBron James winning seven rings just to get that one up on Michael Jordan. We can we can compare this shit in sports terms. We can compare this shit in sports terms. Damn. So he just need one more hit. Family family matters. If it would have went number one, that probably been that probably would have been his. It probably would have been he probably would have took it. But family matters didn't go number one because we all know who got number one. Kendrick, I think Kendrick was he number one and number two. I think he was. I don't even think that was the hot 100 list. I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, Billboard Hot 100. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I guess not like us was number one. Um, yeah, last week it was number one. So yeah, this was number one for a second. Damn. Knew I wasn't wrong, but didn't know I was right. Okay. Back to bad and bougie. LeBron only has four rings. I'm saying, though, if he was to win, 
if he was to win seven rings, that would be the difference between Drake and MJ. Michael Jackson, that is. Um, March Madness. Mm, what does it sound like again? Uh, I remember this shit, but. There's something. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm trying to think. Yeah, just leave everything. Leave everything so far. Oh shit. Fucked it up, y'all. Okay, here we go. Hey, so tour live. Let me see. What is a fun fact about this song? Tarantino, I guess, yeah, this is the producer. Made the beat in 20 minutes while sitting in his sister's Chicago kitchen. March Magnus didn't make its initial cut on 56 Nights, but the song was so good that Future decided to throw it on the track list. WWW. Exo Tour Life? Okay. Uh, Exo Tour Life, 2 billion. Isn't this song Diamond? Isn't Exo Tour Life Diamond? Let me see. Is X O Tour Life Diamond? Yep. See, I just be knowing, bro. I just be knowing, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I just be knowing, bro. That's some shit that you just gotta know. If you don't know, now you know. EXO Tour Life is diamond. Now you know. 11 million copies sold. Crazy. That's crazy work, y'all. Virgil, what's going on, man? Appreciate the follow. We just going through the Spotify list. We almost done. Um, And then I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Uh, God's plan. Uh God's plan, I feel as if it was overplayed. It was played out. It was cool. I definitely, I love the music video. Um, but it's, it's played out. It's played out for sure. Yeah. I knew it. Slide this shit back. Slide, slide Bodak Yellow back. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I understand it was an influential song for the rap game with females. I get it, but hell no. Nah. Slide this back. Slide this back. I, shit, you could put it top. Back here somewhere. Top. I knew they was going to do that. I literally said it when we was looking at No Flocking. Literally said it. They was going to put Cardi B up here. And they definitely did. I see the influence. With the female rap game. But I wouldn't put her number two. That's extremely way too high. What does this song sound like again? Yes. No. Mm -mm. Drop that shit all the way back. Bodak Yellow was the first song by a solo female rapper to reach number one on Billboard Hot 100 since Lauryn Hill's Doo Wop in 1998. It's also the first song by a female rapper to be certified diamond. Okay, I can see. I can see why they put it here. With the fun fact, I can see why they put it here. Because this was like the... This song right here broke records, and I didn't really notice that. But, damn. This was the first song by a female rapper to be certified diamond. That's what I'm saying. The facts are surprising, so I see why it's number two now. I see why it's number two. I see why it's number two. So I'm not I'm not necessarily mad at it anymore because with the facts, if they didn't put fun facts in here, I would have just been like, man, this song, like how I was. But the fun facts make sense. It, this this song basically changed the rap game for females. I didn't even know. I always discredit Cardi B, but I didn't notice at all. My bad, Cardi B. I apologize. Kendrick Lamar. All right. What song is this again? What it sound like again? Yeah, all right. 
We gon' be all right. We gon' be all right. Yeah. Lead us at number one. Bring freestyle. Freestyle got to be top 10 by Lil Baby. It has to be top 10. Other than that, man, listen, cool little list from Spotify. Um, They probably had a lot of people uh, come in and make this list, most likely because, like I said, they ended up making a top 100 hip-hop albums list, which I didn't know. If y'all want me to check that list out, y'all can let me know down below in the comments, bro. This video is a long-ass video just to be looking at fucking list by spotify it's a 50 minute video but hey man i'ma still get this shit out for y'all y'all can let me know what you think about the list down below in the comments what songs do y'all think should have been in the top 10 y'all give me y'all favorite songs favorite songs of the streaming era of all time y'all gotta give me y'all list y'all gotta give me y'all top 10 down below in the comments bro i might end up punching in and making my own list i feel like freestyle definitely should be top 10 uh, the top 10 was pretty fine though the top 10 was pretty fine but y'all can let me know down below in the comments what is y'all top 10 not top 100 y'all don't go to y'all don't gotta go that far if y'all don't want to y'all can give me y'all top uh top 10 greatest hip-hop songs of the streaming era or of all time y'all can let me know down below in the comments i'm kind of lagging but hey man hopefully y'all enjoyed the video if you watch the whole video comment classics down below in the comments bruh but hey man hopefully you enjoyed the video if you didn't go like comment subscribe for new for more videos coming from our content coming soon you already know what time it is man make sure you follow the kick follow the twitch and also join the discord down below in the description i'm about to go ahead and end the stream as well it's three o'clock in the morning listen it's time for me to get the fuck up out of here bruh look at this look at this we didn't even get the other videos out that i made <laughs> but i will be back tomorrow probably streaming but make sure like i said make sure y'all follow the kick the twitch and also join the discord down below in the description but hey man it's been your boy that boy deli oh god man